Welcome everybody. Welcome to Channeling Career. Today is um, May the 30th, 2021. And um, before we do any channeling, let's just do a short meditation just to um, get everybody to be present. And um, when the energy start coming in, then the the channeling is going to start. So let's begin by just taking a deep breath in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in and let it all go. And continue to breathe in and breathe out according to your own rhythm. Trust your body. Follow the natural rhythm of your own body and use your breath. Use this breathing rhythm, this natural breathing rhythm that you have in order to help you to come into being present with your body. Focus absolutely and entirely on just breathing in and breathing out. Focus all of your attention on your own body and use this focusing on your own body to allow you to let go of thinking. If any particular thoughts come into your mind, no need to fight it and no need to engage it. If thoughts come in, then just let it come in and let it leave just as easily. And simply focus on breathing. Our breath is always with us. It's a great tool for us to use. And as you breathe in, bring in more of what you need. If you feel you need peace, then breathe in peace. If you feel you need to breathe in inspiration, if you need more inspiration, then simply breathe it in. Whatever you desire to have more of, then call it in when you are breathing in. And as you are breathing out, let go of anything that is distracting you. Let go of anything that is not supporting you in this moment. When you feel that your body is becoming more present and more relaxed, then shift your focus into your heart. And imagine that you can actually breathe into your heart 
And as you breathe out, you can breathe out from your heart. When you're breathing into your heart and breathing out from your heart, start to feel that shift. A shift in feeling when you are engaged with your heart and when you consciously choose to breathe and to live from your heart. Everything looks very different. Our body has different energy centers. And each energy center is really a way for us to experience Earth through. When we experience Earth through our roots chakra, We see and feel the world a certain way. And as we become more mature, we move up to another energy center that is further up from the first until we move all the way into our heart. Our heart is at the middle. It's at the middle of our body. When we start to move into experiencing the world, through our heart. It's a different experience. The heart is a connector. It's in the middle of our body. Its function physically and esoterically is to connect us to connect the human parts of ourselves with the divine parts of ourselves. When we live and experience the world from our heart, we experience love. We experience connection. We experience the joy of sharing. We experience the joy of community. We 
we experience the polarity between being with ourselves and being a part of something that is much bigger than ourselves. From our heart, we feel ourselves as the creator of our own lives. And yet we also understand that we are part of an expanded whole. We are one in a group. we start to understand not just who we are when we experience through our hearts, we also begin to understand our place within the group, our place within the cosmos. And it is the experience, the play of a lifetime or even of many, many lifetimes to balance that, to balance self and others. Because in truth, there is no others. There is an illusion of others. And we willingly participate and make use of this illusion. The illusion of there being others. And we learn through this play, this play of accepting that others that there are others even though on some level we know, we also know there is no others, that others are simply us. They are a part of us as well. And we play we play in this illusion. We willingly play in this illusion so that we can learn what it is. We can learn how to balance. We can learn the wisdom Yet it all starts from stepping up into our heart 
to consciously seek, to see the world, see our lives, see our reality through the lens of our heart, through the lens of love, through the lens of connection. Each of us has a different understanding of what love is. And that is perfect. That is the way it should be. Because we have free will, our free will is for us to refine our own understanding of what love is, what it feels like. What does it mean? How do we balance that? How do we balance that love and purify that love within ourselves? This is all what the heart, our heart, each one of us is learning to do that. There is no one right way. Each have your own journey through your heart. Feel within your heart in this moment. What do you feel when I mention the word love? Do you love yourself? Do you know that each and every one of us, each and every one, without exception, are dearly loved? There is so much love. The whole universe, all of creation exists because of love. How much of that love can you feel within your heart in this moment? How much of that love are you conscious of in this moment? Feel that 
right now. And know that whatever you feel, no matter how much you feel loved, that there is a million times more out there. A million times a million more of that love that the universe is trying its best to deliver and let you experience. It is up to you to allow as much of that love to touch your heart. It's not right, it's not wrong, it simply is. And the journey of your soul is really to expand your own ability together and to hold and embody all the love that you can possibly allow in. when you can allow in all of the love that creation has to offer you, then you know you're home. And that is the journey of our soul. The journey of our soul is to gather and experience more of that love. I say this not to mock you because in this moment you may not feel very much loved. Or maybe you do. Maybe you think that there is only this much love and you are already very grateful. No matter where you are. In the scale of this love journey, there is so much more. your understanding of love is so rudimentary love is not what you think it is love is not just a feeling love it's an allowance. A love. Trust. A 
love is never lost. Love can look like anger, can look like sadness, can look like disappointment. All of those emotions do not subtract from love. Love is a beacon, it's a vibration. It's fearlessness. It has no boundaries. It is beyond words, it is not something that words can describe. When you truly feel love, there are no words that can describe it. It's a full body experience. We don't yet have the language to describe what love truly is. What we have experienced so far in named love is simply a pale facsimile of what love truly is. It is something that only can be experienced. And that is the journey of experiencing and creating from your heart. You have all the support from the universe now to start on that journey, that journey of learning and experiencing what love truly is. It is not a brief assignment. So relax, take your time, feel into it, let your heart lead the way, let your heart guide you. That is the only way
to think that you can use logic to figure out what love is. It's entertaining. Create from your heart. Leave your logic aside for now. When you create, create from your heart. The universe listen to you when you create from the heart, when you connect with all of creation from your heart, all of creation listens. They can feel that vibration. They can feel your heart's desire. No matter where they are, they must, might as well be halfway around the galaxy. And they will still be able to feel your heart. The most efficient way to create is really to create from your heart. Go into your heart and really feel. What can I do today? What can I engage in today that is oh, going to allow me to expand my understanding of love? Ask the universe this open question. And see what the universe will bring back. It is a very different way of living from what we're used to. You have been living the way that you used to live for such a long time now. And look where that has gotten you. May we suggest that you try something different. Try. Try to trust your heart more than you trust your logic. More than you trust your thinking. Trust your heart. 
feel into it. Be with your heart. Hold the universe. Hold all of creation in your heart. And feel every moment as you breathe into your heart. And as you breathe out from your heart as well. How do you experience the world? How much love can you hold within your heart? How much love do you have to give to everyone around you? to your community, to the world, to all of creation. If you pay attention in your heart and really be present in your heart, and relax, and without expectations, and without trying. Allow yourself to feel all of creation within your heart. You may not be able to experience all of creation in this moment. Start to expect that you can. And keep allowing yourself to expand. To expand what you can feel. Because all of creation exists within your heart. Your heart is connected to it. You have been disconnected from this feeling. And now, by choice, if you are willing, you can choose to connect with that again, to connect with all of creation within your heart.
can start to expand. Expand that connection to a love that is so expansive. that it can assist you in letting go of all the other thoughts that is distracting you to connect with this expanded experience of eternal infinity. Expand. Your human consciousness. To include all of that. Train your body to hold more love. The amount of love you can feel is only limited by you. No need to think in this moment. Simply allow yourself to feel, to feel this expanded This expanded reality Relax, breathe. With each breath that you breathe in, allow yourself to expand even more, to let in even more love, to let go of your current understanding 
of what love is. As you do more of this experiencing and creating from your heart, the easier it is for you to start to clear your body out of all the resistance And do you realize that you have been resisting love? It is possible to resist that which you seek. The way around it is simply to allow for it to come in. The trick is to breathe, to breathe into your heart. And be patient with your heart. Clean your heart to get used to more love, more support, more abundance, more love from the universe coming to you, coming through you. We love you very, very much. And we just want to remind you to allow us to give you even more of the love. That the universe is sending to you, through you, at you, around you.
taking this time to allow us to show you how much love there truly is. 